Hey, hey guys. Hope you're all doing fine. I'm gonna turn the background volume down a smidge. Cool. How's everybody? Uh, hey Wolfie. Hey Crush. Hey Sterling. Hey Eka. Goodness me. Hey Swa. Everybody all in at once. Nice. How y'all doing? Oh yeah, tell me about it, Eka. These storms are horrible. They've got me on edge constantly. Right. What were we doing? I think we were going to our hotel room. Oh, and we met this little cutie pie. No, not the fat cheek Pikachu knockoff. This one. Oh, they're all so caught we've wanted to support me. They all tend to be a bit shirty with me. What? A bit shirty with the other gym leaders. Yeah. Very cockney. Very cool. Um, yeah. Uh, same over here, Eka. The whole town where I am is just completely flooded. All the rivers have burst. It's a freaking nightmare. Yeah, well done, Crush. I saw the thing that uh, I saw that you managed to nail uh, Dark Souls 2 after all this time. Congratulations. Um, that's, um, questionable. Oh, Dark Souls 3, whatever. Can we just let ourselves into people's hotel rooms? Yep, that seems like a smart thing to do. A young girl just walk into a random man's hotel room. What could possibly go wrong? Ah, he gave me a star piece. What a nice man. That's a nice TV. <laughs> Fluffy pillows, sir. Uh, yes, I did get online crush. Um, I'm all set up and ready to rock. Anything in the bin? It's kind of cheap hotel rooms. Uh, a, a large gentleman and his young twink friend. Uh, I can't help but notice they've only got one double bed. Moving swiftly on. Oh, that's cute. What's that? Panch. Some kind of like panda bear thing. Oh wait, didn't we see one of those the other week? Anyway. Give me something. That grandson of mine doesn't know what he's talking about. When it comes to the Charizard pose, there's no way Leon could ever outshine me. Come on then. Show me what you got. Show me your Charizard pose. Actually, no, that sounds dreadful as well. Something about being in hotel rooms with people that just makes everything sound just dreadful. Um, I'm guessing none of these is my room. Oh, I guess we should check in first, huh? Okay. Yes, I am. The hooligans. Uh, actually, Wolfie, we didn't run away from anyone last week. We ran into a level 24 Onyx and we kicked its ass. Uh, I think the only thing we ran away from was the spooky ghosts. Ah, 
God, this guy's so competitive. Kind of reminds me of Wolfie, actually. Like, hyper competitive dude. Make our way to the most um, to the stadium. Okay, we could do that. <laughs> Hyper competitive and amazing. Oh, that's a good idea, Crush. Yeah, if you want your Pokemon to be a Rotom, uh, yeah, if you want to catch one and trade one over for me, I'll gladly add him to my team. Does this ball guy give us another free Pokeball? Nope. Apparently not. Stingy. Ah, it's this guy. I hate this guy. I always think that's better than Chairman himself. What a jerk. Slap him in the face. Oh, okay. Where are the changing rooms? I'm going to put a stupid gym costume on. Oh, cool. What's a Relu? Okay, we'll do a little bit of trading before we do the first gym battle, if everyone wants to send me over whatever Pokemon they want to be. You look sharp as a pin! Oh, yeah, it's got my lucky number seven on the back. Very cool. Oh, I guess we're just going straight into the battle then. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a chance to check on my Pokemon first, Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen! I'm Rose. Someone needs to tell that guy that Rose is a girl's name. It's my pleasure to announce that finally the Galar Region Gym Challenge will now begin. Yeah! Woo! Everyone looks really happy apart from the Sobble that looks characteristically devastated. Oh, yes, I know about Lucario, but mostly only because of um, Smash Brothers, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to get a chance to trade before the first match, which is kind of annoying, but that'd be fine. Evolves through friendship. I'm going to have to spend a fun night with the Relu in a tent, are we, to get it to evolve? Oh, hello. I recognize her uh, from uh, the internet. <laughs> It's funny how I only recognise the cute girls and not the old people and the dudes. <laughs> I just don't know why that could be. It must be something about my the people I follow on Twitter. Let's just pull this a little bit closer. Yeah, I recognise her from Rule 34. Geordie. It's set in England they called a character Geordie. Come on, man. It's a little on the nose. What else is there? There's like one called Scouser, one called Geordie. <laughs> we don't mention my search history. <laughs> we just don't ever bring it up. I feel thoroughly unprepared for this. Like, it seems like this is a really big deal. I kind of get the feeling like if I went on holiday to Tokyo, just walked into the Olympic Stadium and was like, uh, yeah, I'm totally uh, an Olympic athlete. And they're like, oh, brilliant, great, get on in there. Just walk in front of 10,000 people. Oh, what happened? I thought I was about... Oh, so it wasn't like the first match, it was just like a little ceremony. Okay, I mean, it would help if I read these things instead of just making baseless assumptions, wouldn't it? Oh, 
Uh, that's okay, Crush, not to worry. Plenty of time. We got, we're going for a whole year. We've got to catch all of them, so plenty of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Lovely to meet you, Rose. See, whenever I see Rose, I just immediately think of Rose Quartz from Steven Universe, and he is about as far away from Rose Quartz as you could possibly get. Gotta breed fast! That's a slogan for the new, po the new uh, Sonic the Hedgehog film. Gotta breed fast! You need to train yourselves, too. Ah, oh, what a surprise. Can hop super stoked about it. I mean, I like his general his general sort of life outlook is very positive. I think that's a very healthy thing. But god damn, is he a little much. Ah, oh, okay. Right, I'm guessing we can trade now. So I wonder how we do this. Um... I'm guessing not versus. Are we actually connected to the internet right now? Oh, uh, we've got autosave on. That's good. You have to press Y. Oh! No, I don't want to fight people. Right, let's go back, let's go back. Let's press Y. Boop. There we go. Okay. Link trade, surprise trade, swap cards, link battle profile, search stamps. Okay, so we have to press start. Which isn't doing anything. Here we go. Right. The little button that says connect to the internet. That one. And that's going to help me connect to the internet, is it? You are now connected to la internet. Hey, stop bullying the smug, you lot. Don't make me tell the mods that I don't have. <laughs> oh, Ruby, not you too. <laughs> hey, Ruby. Right, then do link trade and set a code. Bloop. Cool. My code is going to be... Uh, how many digits? Four digits. Okay. The code is going to be, because I'm so cool and hip and totally elite, is going to be 1337. Cool. Link me up, my dudes. Very mature. Oh, cool, it's just going to be searching in the background. That's neat. So, while people decide whether they want to trade with me, I will go and check out the haircuts. Because I remember at the end of last stream, Crush was telling me I should check out the hairdresser. Yes, more people giving me free things. I love, I'd love to live in the Pokemon world, because everybody's just like, Here, have some free stuff. Access to a flying taxi? That's badass. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, huh? 
Oh my goodness, so much stuff's just happened out of nowhere. What is all this? Oh. Okay, just random, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, in retrospect, it looks like there's a lot of people who are using that as a code. It's fine. Doesn't matter. It'll do for now. Let's go to the hairdressers. Hey, it's that freaking Onyx that kicked my ass earlier. Okay, I tell you what, should I set it to my birthday? I'm not doing that. That's a terrible idea. Um, right, now, where's the hairdressers? Ah, there's someone I recognise. What? Why is he not showing up here? I can see Wolfie clearly there on my left. What the hell? This is a very confusing system. I suppose Nintendo have never really been... Ah, here we go. Trade partner has been found. Jesus Christ, that took some doing. Right. Um, What should we send Wolfie? Oh. Nothing, I guess. I'm terrified to do anything now. What What am I supposed to do? Because it just... Let's change the code, because that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> How do we change the freaking code? How do we change the code? This is such a freaking confusing ass way of doing things. No, I don't want to disconnect from the internet. God damn it, Nintendo, man. Why'd you make everything so freaking complicated? Press A, okay? A. Okay. Let's just go... Oh seven, oh seven. Cool. That's what I'm doing. Oh seven, oh seven, and then I'm guessing it's just going to pop up on its own. So I'm just going to stop pressing buttons now. Jesus Christ. What are we sending to Wolfie? Bets by Dre. That should be Beats by Dre. What? <laughs> God damn it. You can have old Flappy. You lucky devil. Ah, oh, he's cute.
Yeah, now I know how it works, it's not hard. It's just, it doesn't explain it very well. Like, I, you see people's cards coming up, so I'm like, do I click on them? But no, it just happens automatically, I guess. That's fine. We know what to do for future. We have a Riolu. I'll take it to a Pokemon Center and rename it Wolfie. The fighting type Pokemon. It's extremely energetic, with enough stamina to keep running all through the night. Yeah, keep running all through the night. Wink. Yep. Let's have your card made. Oh. Okay, he's gone. Hey, Boris. Hey, this guy's got a bike. Hey, give me that bike. Gives it. Oh, I'm guessing that's a player character, is it? Am I in like an, an open, like an online area here? That's kind of cool. Give me a bike. I'm going to steal your bike, boy. Thanks, I guess. He thinks I need spice to make a curry. Doesn't he know you just throw any old berries you can find, just throw them into a pot, and it makes an amazing curry. Everybody knows that. Uh, now, you guys were saying last week that if I just stick my head in one of these hot... What the fuck? What is that? What an abomination. Okay, we're going to avoid that for now. Yeah, I'll give you a fight. Oh, is she going to be like level 100? Ah, Grookey. Pfft. Hope she knows what that thing evolves into. <laughs> That wasn't great. Let's try confusion. It's based off literal garbage. So it's just another muck. Kinda. Oh, Iris is dead. RIP, sorry Boris. <laughs> Come on, Sterling, do your thing. Cool, man. I'll finish this fight, and then, uh... Oh, he's using my own move against me. I was the one who was branch poking everybody before. I'm just gonna beat him up. <laughs> Sorry, Boris. I think when your, car when your Pokemon evolves, he'll be really kick-ass. We just need to get him to that point. Maybe. Oh yeah, growl at me. So scary. I'd be more scared if it was using that thing's evolved version, which is just horrifying. I... Oh yeah, the little fox thing. He seems to be alright. I don't know what he evolves into, but he looks pretty cool. I mean, nothing we have really is very strong right now, apart from Lahal, but he's ugly as fuck, so he doesn't count. <laughs> Score Bunny. Okay, have we got any water types? Uh, we do not. Let's use Butters.
Uh, let's sleep this bad boy. Go to sleep, stupid rabbit, with a big sticker on your face for some reason. Like he's Mike frickin' Tyson. Oh, it's a, he keeps hopping even when he's asleep. That's amazing. Still gonna poison him, but that's pretty amazing. Don't worry, Sterling. We're, I'm not putting Fox Sterling anywhere. He's staying with us, mate. Don't you worry. From what I understand, you don't exactly need like the most powerful Pokemon in the game to beat this thing. Apparently, it's pretty straightforward. Let me guess what her third Pokemon's going to be. Is it perhaps going to be a Sobble? Nah, dead. Man, we really need to get Iris some XP, don't we? <laughs> I didn't realise she was our lowest level. Oh, so I need to keep setting the Link Trade up over and over. I, th I thought maybe if it was just on once, it would stay on. Okay, no worries. Let's get hideous old Lahal out and beat up that Sobble. Prepare to die, blue chameleon of sadness. <laughs> he looks like a broke drummer. <laughs> I am pretty amazing. Thanks for noticing, Chloe. It definitely wasn't that you sucked, it was that I was amazing. Oh, she's a freaking ninja. Okay, so let's set up the next trade. Hey. Um you know what? Because I like your crush, I'll let you have the Duke of Nuts. <laughs> I want you to promise to treasure the Duke of Nuts, though. Don't just... Don't just stash him away. Oh. Cool. I don't know what that purple thing was, crush, but, um... He looks cool as heck. Shall I quit and try again? Yeah, okay. And now I know, even though Pokemon didn't explain to me, that I need to set it up again. Give me that big old scary looking purple boy. Crush. I give to you my Duke of Nuts. <laughs> Ooh, gemstone boy. Oh, lost connection again. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Crush. I'm sure it'll be fine, buddy. We'll try again in just a minute, okay? It'll all be fine. Oh. I thought we were playing Pokemon. I didn't realize we were playing Death Stranding. Look at this guy. <laughs> Scary looking Hideo Kojima motherfucker. <gasps> oh my god. I must have it. I know I can't catch him. I know that I'm not a high enough level. But I, 
I must have a Snorlax. He is my fave. Oh my god, he's trying to kill me. Stay away. Bad Snorlax. Naughty. Don't do that anymore. I'll, uh, I'll try the Link Trade one more time, Crush. We'll give it another go. Sneak around this big fat old Snorlax. Oh, is that all it is? I don't have to fight them or anything. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's go revive Iris and stick her at the back so she actually levels up. Duke of Nuts! Take my Duke of Nuts! Oh, he's different again. Take my Duke of Nuts! What? That's a creepy looking Pokemon. <laughs> that wasn't you, Crush. <laughs> I nearly gave that. I nearly gave away my precious Duke of Nuts just to some random chump. That ain't Crush. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's cool. I've not seen you before. Oh, let's catch one of these. Oh. He's very strong. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, it's raining and he's electric type. That's probably going to be a problem for me. Level 28. Cheese it, Sterling. Get out of there. Oh, no. Nice one, Sterling. Sterling, you a fuck about the leopard. Just doesn't care. I think we'll probably just cheese it, to be honest. Run away, Winnie Dog! Ah, oh, nice one, Wolfie. Okay, change the code to 5858. Can do. Oh, wrong button. I, di I didn't realise that pe random people would just be like, Here, take my Pokemon! <laughs> so how do I see if this is Crush? I'm assuming it's going to say somewhere on here. Trading partner, Lily. So, no, I don't want to do that. This is so weird. Oh, that is Crush. Whoops. Sorry, Crush. I assume that that... I I don't know why, I just assumed your name would be Crush. I don't know why, I just assumed you have the same name for everything. Right, let's try that one more time. I know who I'm looking for now. Hwaitoriri! you got to remember, Crush, that the chat for me is about seven or eight seconds behind the game. Now take my Duke of Nuts. No, that's Brian! Oh god! Who the fuck is Brian? So you have to set the, the, the code every time as well? So how are random people just randomly trading with me? This is such a bonk system. <laughs> okay, set link code. 5858. Five, eight. The Duke is popular. Every, everybody wants a piece of the Duke. Trading partner Lily. Right. Take my Duke of Nuts. Take it. Cool, man. It's a little white-hatted person. <laughs> He's cute. He's got a little floppy hair. Adorable.
Goodbye, Duke of Nuts. Okay, so when you trade without a code, it trades with everyone. That makes perfect sense. I assumed, like any smart person would, that once you set the code, that would always be your code unless you changed it. Yee, it's so cute. The calm Pokemon. Via the protrusion on its head, it senses other creatures' emotions. If you don't have a calm disposition, it will never warm up to you. This thing is never going to love me. <laughs> Someone's tried to smother a Jigglypuff. <laughs> yeah, give me a card. Oh, we've called it the Smuggy Wuggy. Adorable. Uh, yes, Wolfie, I want a Snorlax more than anything I've ever wanted in my life. It's literally going to replace Lahal as my main. <laughs> I tell you what, Wolfie, just to save everyone going through the absolute terror of what's been happening so far, you tell me a code, and I will set to that code, okay? Because <laughs> it's been like 38 minutes, and we've achieved nothing but absolute madness. Peak insanity. Right, 4898. Four, eight, nine, eight. Boop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me that Snorlax, baby. Oh, she did a little spin. Adorable. Um, well, Smuggy Wuggy is level one. And what else did we... Didn't we trade for another one? Uh, oh, okay. So, what do you want? Let's give you... Um... <laughs> you can have Nut Slap. I'd be sad to see him go. Yes! Yeah, where's my little Relu gone? I'm sure he's here somewhere. <laughs> you got like a level 100 Snorlax that just refuses to listen to me. <laughs> it's level 1, yay! Noise. E got a freaking Snorlax, so good. We're going to go into the gym with just a whole squad of level 1s, aren't we? <laughs> Maybe we should do a little bit of training before we go to the gym. Take good care of Snorlax. I certainly will. I don't know if you can give nicknames to traded Pokemon. I know you can't in the old games, but maybe they've changed that. Yeah. There's my little Relu. Excellent. They're all level one. Amazing. Right. Thank you very much, Wolfie. You're a gentleman and a scholar. So let's, uh, let's sort our team out. Uh, did you use a computer? I know you always had to on the old games. Checkboxes. Here we go. So, we want Iris. We want Sterling. We're going to keep leveling up Butterscotch. Let's get rid of Lahal. He can just he can just be gone. Get out of my face, you ugly beast. Um, and then, <laughs> let's have this little smuggy-wuggy, I guess. And Wolfie, you wanted to be a re a, a, a Relu, right? So, I guess we can manage without Butterscotch for a while. Cool! Right, so no pressure, uh, Boris, but uh, Iris has got a lot of, um, a lot of hard work to do. <laughs> Let's just switch these two around, huh? What a team. A flawless, unbeatable team. 
Uh, oh, and we want to change their names as well. Who do we need to speak to to change the names of the Pokemon? Was it back in the first town? Or can I just do it with any barman? Here's a pint of lager, mate. Oh, we go. Write a nickname. Perfect. So, Rilu. And we're going to name Wolfie. <laughs> Have me and Butters tank the front line. <laughs> yep, that's fine. There's another great reason to give every Pokemon we catch a really goofy nickname, because when we trade them over, people like Wolfie are going to be stuck with Pokemon called Nutslap. Um, yeah, I've got my I've got my keyboard here, but it's like on the other side of the sofa, and I'm too lazy to reach over for it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna actually let's give Snorlax a name. What are we gonna call him? Let's call him Sir. Sir Chonko, because he's so big. Big Mama, Big Daddy. Sir Feet smells a lot. Mm. Um, that's it, isn't it? Everyone's got a nickname. Perfect. Right, so, tanking for everybody. We've got a fox with a hoover for a tail. Ah, oh, talk play. How's it going, buddy? Naz, how's it going, man? We're just doing a little bit of trading. Um, just so you can see what we've got going on. Our team at the minute is, consists of... Oh, God, where's my team? How do I get to it? Pokemon, here we go. Uh, we have Sterling, who is a fox with a hoover on his tail. We have Butters the Butterfree. We have Iris. We've got Wolfie the Relu. We've got Sir Chonko, the big old Snorlax. And we've got Smuggy Wuggy. Which is some Jigglypuff-looking motherfucker. Endgame team here, for sure. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe we should heal these guys before we should run back outside, because that was the whole point of coming back into the town, right? <laughs> I got you, Boris. Don't worry. I wouldn't let anything happen to Iris for the fourth or fifth time in a row. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Uh, yeah, Naz, if you've got a particular Pokemon uh, that you want me to name Naz and pop in, my uh, pop in my team, just send them on over, man. <laughs> the endgame team's looking like looking like a, a beast of a team. Almost entirely level 1s, as they should be. <laughs> Let's go do a little bit of fighting, level some guys up a little bit. The music on this is so good. It's kind of like, it's new enough to be different, but it's got like that kind of like nice classic retro feel to it. I'm guessing these guys on bikes, they're acting like they're spawning into the maps, like they're real people. Oh yeah, Rufus. Okay, so they aren't just like... Oh, big old... Thanks, strange man, giving a young girl a bag of mushrooms whilst out in the wilderness. So what are these big light beam things? What do these do? Uh, what am I going to do when there's more stream Pokemon than you can have in your team? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box in my thing that's just stream team Pokemon. And then just like mix them up as we go along. Uh, and switch them in and out. So everyone will get a chance to have their own Pokemon if they want one. Uh, I'm guessing we don't want to do the raids just yet. Let's fight a couple more Rando Pokemon. Level up a little Som Som. Oh. Probably should pay attention when I'm doing that, huh? Oh, no. This ugly-ass thing. Oh, wait, we didn't catch one, did we? It beat us up last time. Revenge! Am I not going to have to be much, much higher level to do the raids? Am I just going to go in there and get absolutely obliterated immediately? Okay, we're going to teach this thing a lesson. Because it beat us up so bad before.
Oh, with that exact move. If you remember last week, we put it to sleep and it still somehow beat itself up even though it was sleeping. Brutal swing. You know, for something that's not very effective and is the same level as me, it's certainly doing a lot of freaking damage. Ah, oh, the rate is scaled. Okay, cool. Oh, so it wasn't its stupid spinning attack. It was the fact that it was hailing. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I hate this Pokemon. It's got a weird, fat, flat face, but its color looks like it should have a not flat face. Like its face is just drawn on to a round ball. I hate it. And then it leers at me. Like it knows me. You don't know me, Stuffle. You fucking freak. Oh, yes, Naz, you little beauty. A Galarian Ponytail would make my freaking day. Up there with the level one poked Snorlax that Wolfie just sent me. <laughs> oh, bye, Sterling. You did good. Good effort. Yeah, use next Pokemon. I think it's Iris' time to shine. <laughs> From here, I could hear Boris screaming. <laughs> what does Klutz do? Um, crush, I guess. Every time I bring Iris out, she gets the Klutz rule, and I don't know what that does. Oh yeah, lower Iris' defense. Perfect. That's like her defense wasn't low enough. Oh, Iris! That was too good! Oh well. XP for Iris, I guess. Klutz means you can't take items. <laughs> God damn it. Smug is a horrible trainer. Oh, come on, Boris. You know that's not true. I love all my Pokemons. Iris didn't even level up. That's embarrassing. Oh, nice. Oh, man, those guys flew up. Wolfie level 9 from one fight. Sweet. Um, okay, let's use a revive on um, poor old Sterling. Because he didn't really get his chance to shine there, did he? There you go, Sterling. You're all good. See? Back up to full health. Everything's fine. Ah! Jesus. Watch where you're going, man. I thought it was going to run me down. Okay, should we try one of these raids? Because i got a feeling I'm going to get battered doing this. Okay, that's a hoot hoot, isn't it? That's absolutely a hoot hoot. Oh, I can invite you guys in. Cool. Okay. So the code for this is going to be... Um, let's do what we did before. 0707. Who wants to join me? I want that hoot hoot, lads. Give me some of that sweet hoot hoot action. I guess I just wait in here until people jump in. I don't really know how it works. Come on, boys. I need backup. <laughs> Click invite. Oh, I actually have to... Okay, fine. That makes sense. That one's on me. I can't blame Pokemon for that one, I guess. Oh seven oh seven.
Yep, Sterling's first win in the firing line. How do I join? I have no idea. Uh, Naz, Wolfie, any ideas? Yeah, Boris is only saying everything will be fine now because Iris isn't the first Pokemon out anymore. <laughs> I can't believe Iris killed her first Pokemon and didn't level up from it. That was just tragic. Oh, Wolfie's in. Oh, with a Gardevoir. Very nice. That's what you're working towards, Boris. That's what you're gonna. That's what Iris is gonna be at some point down the line. We got about a minute and a half until we get auto cut off. Remind me once we finish doing this um, to open up a trade with Naz. Try and get my hands on that sweet, sweet ponyta. You must be online because you traded the Pokemon with me earlier. It's a dude, Iris, so it's going to have legs. Oh, so the 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 Ralts evolves into different Pokemon depending on its gender. That's interesting. The code was 0707. Hey, he's in. Um, I guess just the three of us. Naz, you gonna you joining us, buddy? Thirty seconds left. Yeah, I know, Crush, but you know what my memory is like. Oh, uh, Crush, I think you need to press ready, mate. Ah, Naz is trying to catch me that Ponyta because he's a good bro. Good for the house. Oh, that was close. Zero seconds remaining. Woo -hoo -hoo. So close. See, everyone makes mistakes. Not just me. <laughs> Mostly just me. Oh, who's the random fourth? Oh my god, look at the size of that hoot hoot. It's freaking huge. <laughs> oh, Sterling, you're in trouble, mate. Aww. Someone's got a Togepi. Amazing. That's oh, just a random NPC. Oh, where you at on Monster Hunter, Naz? I just hit high rank yesterday afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna try and beat it up. Because, you know, there's loads of us, so therefore I should get more beat ups. Oh, wow, okay. Lily's cream pie. Easy now. Alright, don't rush me. I've got big decisions to make. Who, who is in love with a cream pie? Um. Ah, you're a fair bit, fi uh, fair bit ahead of me then, Naz. I've not hit Basil guys yet. Ooh, lightning can dynamax, whatever that means. I assume that means go big. We've absolutely wrecked this Hoo. We have ruined his day. <laughs> That's like Poker Beach Ball. Wow. That's um that's, that's pretty camp. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's glorious. And that is a very dead hoot hoot. The battlefield got weird. Oh, like it wasn't weird before with the giant unicorn fighting the giant owl. Yeah, we're going to catch that. I'm level 100. <laughs> I 
We got it! We got ourselves a hoot hoot! Cream it good. <laughs> Don't cream it! Yeah, we gave that hoot hoot a proper cream pie. Nice! I remember hoot hoot was one of the uh, early ones from gold and silver. Uh, with that in mind, we're going to call it Goldie. Very respectful. Oh, no, I don't add it to my party. I wanted it. I didn't want it that bad. Go to a box. Um, no, I guess no XP. I guess... Okay, a water bike. That's kind of cool. Um, I guess catching the hoot hoot was all the reward we needed. Oh, I was uh, not paying attention again when we were fishing. I was reading Wolf, uh, Wolfie telling us you get XP candies. Okay, that's kind of cool. Pungent root. Pungent root. Ah, oh, more of these stupid cat things. I thought for a second there were apoms, which would be much cooler than these stupid stuffing cats. We need one anyway. Let's catch one just so we've got one out of the. The rare raids are purple lights. That's good to know. Right, come on, Sterling. You got him this time. He's a lower level than you. You could do this. I got faith in you. <laughs> Go to the raid beside you. Okay, we'll do another raid. That sounds good. I'll catch this little shit. How is mine effective and his not very effective and he's still doing considerably more damage than me? It makes me very angry. Come on, butters. Let's show him how it's done. Oh no, we should have brought the Ralts out, really. We should have got our Iris, because she's super effective. A wild stuffle. Okay, don't kill it, Butters. <laughs> I, was, I was about to go, what did I just say? But it's fine. Didn't kill it. Now we're going to catch this little shit. It's evaded us twice. Third, third time, we're going to get him. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, we need a name for this guy. Hey, Iris has leveled up. Oh, okay. Boris, we're going to give you a kissing move, you old romantic you, you sly dog. Um, well, I mean, we've got butters for hypnosis. So, yeah. Let's have draining kiss. Oh, yeah, and we'll, yeah what are we going to call it? Shipful... <laughs> <laughs> trying to call everything Big Daddy. <laughs> uh, flat face. That works. It does have a very flat face. Don't worry, Sterling. It's fine, mate. When, when you're leveled up a bit, you'll be amazing. I have faith in you. We're going to call it Flatty, out of respect for Flon and Etna. And the Flatty squad. No, I definitely don't want that in my party. Jog right on. Congrats on the catch now. So has Naz caught something? Didn't see that, I must have missed it. Okay, Crush, uh, let me know the code, and I will... Wait, I'm... shall I do this raid first? I 
don't know what Nas's character is called in this. Uh, okay, Crush, what uh, what code do you want me to use for the trade? We'll trade, then we'll do this um, rare raid. Oh, okay, Crush says raid first. Let's do the raid first. That looks a lot like an Eevee to me. We're inviting others. Oh, no, I didn't set a code. Yes, stop looking for participants. Let's try that again. Uh, link code. 0409. Come join me in another raid, boys. It's not an Eevee. It's definitely not an Eevee. It's a fire pig? No. Uh, I don't know what a league card is, so probably not. Whitey. Uh the code's up on the screen. It's uh, 0409 mate. 0409. There we go. Ready to fight. Oh, don't forget to set you guys, uh, set yourselves as ready. Ah, the wall of text is hiding it. Fair enough. No worries. Yeah, 0409. So what is the male version of God of War then? What's our routes going to evolve into? Oh no! We're gonna We're gonna get a giant Duke of Nuts. The Dukiest of Nuts. <laughs> Amazing. Of all the freaking Pokemon we could get, it's one of the seven or eight that we already have. Well whatever. It matters very little. Gotta beat it up. Come on, Sterling. Time to shine, babe. Embarrassing. Very embarrassing. <laughs> I feel like they stole your thunder there, um. <laughs> they stole your thunder there, Sterling. What made that one rare? Because that Pokemon freaking sucked. That was like the. I think it was literally the first Pokemon we ever caught. It wasn't what I would call a, a rare raid. <laughs> that's what a level 100 does to something that's around level 10. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, we get extra rewards. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I guess this guy, being bigger than the Duke of Nuts, is going to have to be called, like, the King of Nuts. The, the Lord of Nuts? Oh, it's female, so... I don't know how to spell Duchess. Duchess? That looks right. That's probably right. Duchess of... Won't be able to fit nuts. Damn it. Okay. How about... Queen. Queen of nuts. I guess we're not giving it a name then. Boo. 
uh, Duchess D- Duchess Nuts would have worked. Empress, that would have worked. Bigger Nuts. <laughs> Even Bigger Nuts. Um, uh, Crush, you said you wanted a trade, right? Let me know the code, buddy. Oh four oh nine. Okay, coming in. Just getting on the bridge where it's safe. Okay. Oh four oh nine. Searching. Town for a trade. I'm not going to give you another of nuts. So, um, I'm going to give you stream lag. Oh, you want Sterling? Okay. Oh, who's this suave-looking gentleman? All right. Um, yeah, I'll give you Sterling. Yeah, let's go back and I'll give you Sterling. He's a dashing-looking chap. I like him. Okay. We'll head back to the Pokemon Center and we're going to name him something like Sir Sterling. <laughs> I really like that fox. He looks very suave. He looks like, uh, like a, a bandit or something. Goodbye, Sterling. I'm sure Crush will look after you really well. Very cool. New <laughs> Sterling got a mustache. Sterlita. Very cool. Alright, I mean, what should we actually be doing here? I've kind of lost track of, uh, of what we should be doing. Let's go back to the map and have a look. Oh, this doesn't tell us. We've caught 30 Pokemon already. It's insane. Well, I don't know what I should be doing, but it's probably in the town, so let's head back that way. We've done a bit of trading, we've done a bit of battling. Let's progress the story just a smidge. That's a lot of Wingles. Don't squonk at me. Ah, pass through Route 3 and beyond in, to, in order to reach Turfield. This is the barber shop that Crush was telling me about last week. Ah, makeup as well. Adorable. Let's do hair first, even though I'm always wearing a hat.
perfect. That's what I want. That is absolutely adorable. Let's just check out makeup first, and then we'll go to the Pokemon Center. Oh, oh nice. Now she's got a Pokemon, a an egg to trade. Amazing. Oh, she's so cute. And also, let's check out the makeup. Oh, cut off the eyebrows. Okay, we'll leave those as they are. Oh, that's so cute. Put in some contacts, I guess. Have they got my coloured eyes? Um, right, okay. <laughs> I mean, that, that was going to get annoying, but I kind of want to put that on just because of, well, I think you all know. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be like a steely blue here somewhere. Pale blue, there we go. Adorable. She's cuter than ever. Go with the Yandere eyes. Ah, uh, you're a gentleman, Naz. A gentleman and a scholar. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, update the lead card. And clothes shop. Oh, no, 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 no. I want... I don't want a hoodie. I want, like, a shirt. In green, because that's my trademark. No, I guess not. That's fine. Oh, with a little polywell on it. I realise I'm just spunking all of our money up the wall, but... Eleven thousand bucks? Jesus Christ. Twenty-one thousand for boots. I caramba. Yeah, we're gonna have to be done shopping because we are running out of money. Oh, okay. I'm kind of more in love with little smug than ever. Yeah, we need to <laughs> we need more revives. Okay, right. So Crush wants me to go to um, the Pokemon Center and do something with the Pokemon cards before we head off. That's cool. You gotta pay for the label. Right, let me scroll back up a bit. Right, go to the PC, you want to pick Use Card Maker. Okay. Make a League card. Okay, cool, I guess this is what Nas was talking about earlier. So make a League card. Yes. I assume we'll get more of these as as the game progresses. <laughs> okay. Next step. Oh. Yeah. 
You've got to be able to see her boots. That's very important. X, change expression. <laughs> that's cute. I wish I was able to give her a little fang. <laughs> She's furious. Okay, that's the cutest one. Change pose. Can we give it a throw in the old peace sign? Oh my god, we can! Okay, amazing. Matte or gloss? Let's go for gloss. Make her a shiny. Print it. Cool. Well, I don't know what that's for, but it's very cute. Okay. Um, a shop. Oh, let's buy a couple of revives. I'm here to buy. Give me those revives. Okay. What about you? Have you got any revives? Need a couple of those. Yes, revives. 2,000. Let's have two of those. Nice. I've got a Bunnelby. Would you like to train it for a Squavet? What's a Squavet? Is that that stupid... Duke of Nuts again. No. I'm pretty sure that's the Duke of Nuts again. Yeah, another Duke of Nuts. We'll give that a hard pass. If you open the menu now and look at your league card, you'll be able to see yours as well as other trainers' league cards. Okay, cool. Ah, <laughs> absolutely love it. Love everything about it. I've made one of a kind curry. Oh, that's really cool. It gives you, like, shows you their main, uh, like, squads and stuff. That's really cool. Right, so where we need to go now is up past Route 3. So if we go to the town map, find the way out. To the left. To the left, to the left. Oh, we couldn't go down here before, could we? Because someone was blocking our way. Coming through, nerds! What the hell? Woofa! Okay, so look, I guess the only way out is to go through the train station. That's cool. Who's this looking punk? Even if there's no point having a chinwag, it's still great to hear the voice of someone you like. Chinwag. What about the new Pokemon that Crush gave you? Oh, have you guys got no sound? Uh, the Pokemon that Crush gave me, uh, I've got in my party. You mean New Sterling? See? Yeah, he's already in our party. We added him straight to it. Level 27. He's absolutely not going to listen to me. <laughs> he's going to be out of control. So, let's swap him. Iris. We'll see if Iris can hold her own for a bit. I'm sure uh, <laughs> I'm sure Boris is happy with that decision. Ooh, a Vulpix. Give me your Vulpix, boy. Who's this? A uniform shop. No, I want the train station. I don't want a freaking uniform. Get out of here.
I thought this was a train station. I guess we have to go up and over there. Sweet. Okay, uh, let me know your code, uh, Naz, and I will set the trade. Oh nine oh nine. Uh, link trade. Now I understand how this works, more or less. Oh nine, oh nine. Ah, oh, and we can give Ponyta the new scarf because I'm pretty sure Ponyta starts with normal type moves before she gets all the good fire ones. Ace. That's okay, Crush. We only got to do one gym and then he'll listen to us again. Um, so, out of respect for the great and mighty Naz, we will send Naz precious. 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 Metal Sonic. Oh, look at that pony tar, it's so cute. Ah, oh, okay, we may not have the most powerful crew in the world, but goddamn, we're going to have the cutest. Yeah, sorry, Naz, I don't have very many, very many Pokemon to choose from to, uh, to send you, I'm afraid. So cute. Goodbye, Metal Sonic. We didn't know each other for very long, but I always respected the hell out of you, man. cards and she's going in uh, now crush was telling me there's a way that I can get access to my Pokemon box without having to go to the Pokemart uh, so swap Pokemon aha the right bumper excellent so let's take Ponyta and I think just until we can hit level 20 and have Stully to actually listen to us, we'll put Ponyta in there for now. Um, and then Sterling can come back out as soon as we hit level, as soon as we get our first badge. Go, go all the way, do your best. <laughs> um, yay, Nas is going to make Metal Sonic uh, super strong. 
Um, cheers, Sterling. Or I don't know whether you're saying bye because you're going in the box or bye because you've got to go, but <laughs> either way. He'll be back before you know it. I came the very long way around, didn't I? That's fine. I don't know enough about My Little Pony to make a My Little Pony reference here. I know there's Pinkie Pie. I know there's Rainbow Dash. Rarity. None of those really work very well with Naz, though. Um, does Rainbow Naz work? I don't know if that's going to fit. It's probably too long. Instead of Rainbow Dash, Rainbow Naz. Oops. I always hit the wrong button here. Let's not do that. Back B, right. Rainbow Nas. Perfect. Okay, right. Now on to route three. We've done some trading, we've done some raids, we've updated our appearance, we've got some new Pokemons, let's go and progress the story a little bit. Oh, this guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we've got a battle hop and we've got nothing but level ones. Um, maybe it'll be fine. Maybe everything will be okay. Yeah, hop off the bridge, hop, you little shit. Uh, no pressure, Iris, but... Keep up, mate. I mean, Iris is a higher level. Let's just try and disarm it, I guess. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, and now we're just going to keep using Draining Kiss to try and get that health back. Yeah, bad time to be trading in newbies right before a fight with our rival. Freaking hop. Ooh, that's good. Hey, I'm on board with that. That was sweet. Check it out, Boris. You're kicking ass. I mean, you were overdue, but you're kicking ass. <laughs> Mwah. Dead. Kissed your Wulu to death. Because Iris is Welsh. Level 8, Rainbow Nas, straight up there. Beautiful. Diddle -diddle. Yeah, send out Sobble. We'll batter him. Let's keep Iris out for a bit. Ah, it's word over nothing. Yeah, I'm terrified. Oh shit, I should be. <laughs> Don't do that again. Ooh. Give him a smooch. Ah, oh, no. Iris is dead. Good effort, Iris. You did well. Um. Sir Chonko, I choose you. <laughs> He's just so big. Excellent. Prepare to be licked, Sobble. 
I'll give you something to cry about. You're going to get licked by a huge fat man. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> I hope that was a tongue. I just caught that out the corner of my eye. <laughs> it's like he's being slapped with a whale's dick. <laughs> How am I being bound by something that small when I'm so enormously fat? Hmm. Liquid did about the same damage and looked a lot funnier. Of course, yeah, Lick can paralyze as well, can't it? Okay, I'm getting real sick of being bound now. Stop binding me. Let's see what Smuggy Wuggy can do. We have a lot of psychic type Pokemon, I, I realize. Come on, Wolfie, it's time to shine. Let's see what Wolfie can do. Oh. Oh, I guess because I'm being bound, I can't switch out. That's fine. We'll just keep using our whale dick attack on him. Whale dick. <laughs> yeah, now I see how the trading stuff works. I, I get it, but it is definitely not very intuitive. What's Snorlax holding? I've just spotted that he's holding an item. I don't know how to check that. How can you be binding me if you're paralyzed? Uh, info, I guess. An item to be held by Pokemon. This exotic smelling incense makes the holder bloated and slow moving. Why would I want that? How do I take it off? Why would I want why would I want that? Anyway, whale dick attack. Oh, that's powerful. Blech. Oh, I'm free from bind at last. Oh, you're freaking kidding me, Hop. Get a life, mate. I'm furious. That's doing nothing. Right, okay, let's switch these out. Um, come on, Butters. Show me some grass-type love. That's better. What are you smiling for, Hop? I'm kicking your Pokemon's ass. Whee! Uh, yeah, okay, let's see what he's got. So, counter is fighting type, which we've not got any of. Uh, we haven't got any steel type either, so... Endure could be useful. Okay, let's get rid of Faint. We've got plenty of more normal type attacks already. What the hell's a Rookity? Um, yeah, let's see what Wolfie can do. Show me what a Rookity is. Shloop. Pretty confident for a guy who's getting his ass kicked. Hey, it's Metal Sonic, sort of. It's 
too nervous to eat berries. Okay. So let's see what counter can do. A retaliation move that counters any physical attack, inflicting double, double the damage taken. Cool. Let's try Metal Claw against Metal Sonic. It seems to make sense. Ooh, okay, super effective. Let's use counter then and do double that amount of damage back to him. Haha! -ha! You fool! You chump! You've walked right into my plan! <laughs> counter's cool, man. Hey, Rainbow now's leveled up again. I realize almost her entire party of dudes apart from Smuggy Wuggy. Total sausage fest here. <laughs> yeah, give me more of your money, Hop. Give me more of that sweet, sweet dough. Yeah, we've been friends for like 15 years, but thanks for giving me one now. <laughs> From the sleepy town of Postwick. Uh, I should probably heal before we move off, huh? Smoky Wokey's gonna get gangbanged by the rest of the group. Bloop, bloop, bloop. What a team. Snorlax is really out of place there. There's like five really cute, adorable, cutesy little characters. And then this big... Oh man, that Snorlax has got the ugly bastard tag, hasn't he? I should name the part. I should make a party that's named just after hentai tags. Have like NTR. <laughs> How long have I working at a part time job today? Nice hat. Go to a football match. It's so English. Love it. Love everything about it. Hey, we're on our way. Who's this guy? Oh! <gasps> Ooh! It's sure friggin' Vulpix! Oh, jog on, Rookie D. I want a Vulpix now. I guess no one's eating berries today. Was he just showing up? Here we go. Boris is back to kicking ass again. I think Boris is... His thing is, he's good in one fight and then dies. Like, that's just the way that it is for Iris. <laughs> oh, it'd be great to have a Nine Tails, wouldn't it? That'd be really cool. Ah, oh, why me? Iris really doesn't seem to get much experience, even when it's Iris is doing all of the damage. Oh, what is that? Oh, what? Is, it's like a flower? Gossifer. Alright. Time for Boris to catch a, a Gossifleur. Gives a kiss. Good, good. Sorry, Boris. I realised that we've made Iris a little, he's a little bit, bit of a predator. He's very sexually aggressive, just running up and kissing every Pokemon he can get his hands on. 
Yeah, wake up. Come on. How's that thing standing up? Its center of balance is all over the place. Crush says, Gossifler, a grass-type grass Pokemon. It evolves into Eidegloss at level 20. Alright. Come on, Boris. What were we just talking about? you got to be good for more than one fight. Now we're talking double team! Supreme! Come on, give him another kiss. Another little smoochy poos. Oh, nuts, I think Boris is dead. Yep. Sorry, Iris, dead again. Always good for one fight, and that's it. Come on, Sachonko. It's time to shine. Now we've kissed the flower Pokemon, let's lick it a little bit. Very good. That's fine, uh, that's fine, Crush. You know more than I do. That's the important thing. Perfect. Let's try and catch him. Yay, Rainbow announces Lent Confusion. What are we going to call it? It's a stupid looking thing. Uh, any suggestions, guys? What's called a, a, a gossifler? Depression. <laughs> Flower hat. Let's call it Hattie then, because that's an actual name. Mm, Hattie! To the box. You will never see light of day again. S sad hat. Oh, nope. Nope. I'm pretty sure we've already got a zigzagoon, haven't we? Huh? It came right for me. I want that Vulpix. I'm gutted that we didn't catch it in time. I hesitated. I let myself down by hesitating. Hey, Decker. Thanks for joining us, man. So, from Flatty to Hattie. Oh, yeah. We're going for the Atties today. Oh, she's just rubbing it in my face that we didn't manage to catch that last Vulpix. Ugh. That upsets me greatly. Prepare to go to sleep. The battle music in this is really cool. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Yeah, Boris has died a lot. For some reason, Iris... Just likes being dead, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, flirtatious. This is a very sexually charged uh, Pokemon session this evening. I do apologize. I don't quite know what's going on here. That we've got all the licking and the kissing and the butt waggling. Destroyed. Smuggy and Chonko. In fact, Wolfie has somehow surpassed Iris. I don't know how that is. 
I don't know what it is that Iris doesn't seem to get as much XP as everybody else. I Probably because she's usually dead. But Wolfie was level 1 <laughs> and is now level 13, which is higher. Oh, I should read this. What am I doing? Psybeam. Hmm. Poison, Paralyze, Sleep. Does it do damage as well? Oh, it does. And it does more damage than Gust, as well as Confusing. Okay, let's have that. Because then we can Paralyze, Confuse, Poison, and Paralyze a creature all with one, one guy. Ooh, snooty, I like it. She's Sunday. Eh? Don't you come near me, you flowery little freak. Oh, cool. Oh, they'll be useful. Oh, <laughs> oh god. I was trapped between a rock and a hard place. Um, I don't know, Crush. I normally do two hours, but I feel like we've got a good flow going on here. So um, let's call it two and a half. Let's see how we get on at the next town anyway. We should at least get to the next main area. I was kind of hoping to do our first gym battle tonight, to be honest. You're challenged by schoolgirl Hannah. I'm not going to ask you Pan Chamis again. Uh, Crush has already had to tell me like three times. Psybeam! Rude. I know this girl looks like she's only about seven, but I'm going to take all of her money. <laughs> I'm going to beat up her pet and take her money. I don't think we've got a Stunky yet, actually. I must have missed that. Going to have to use a revive on them. Um... Get away from me. We're not going to use a revive, actually, because... <gasps> Vulpix, 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 Vulpix! Ah, you son of a gun! Right, we're just going to nip back to town and heal up and put Iris back so she's getting XP. He's getting XP because uh, I feel bad. <laughs> Not bad enough to stop killing it, but bad enough that I'm going to heal it after it dies. I want a different hat. Uh, what type of gym is the first gym we get to, by the way? Just so I know we've got at least one Pokemon that's going to be good for it. Here, Stunky. Oh no, Iris. No! <laughs> we've just healed you! I forgot to put you at the back of the queue. God damn it. Ah, nice. See, Iris kicks ass in the first fight. Every time. Absolutely wrecks face. It's not until the second fight that it frequently dies. Eka, you got to let me know what kind of Pokemon you want to be. We've not gotten Azuria yet. I mean, admittedly, we've not done the first gym yet. We've got, like, 400 more Pokemon to find or whatever. Uh, so there's no rush, but... Let me know what you think you, you want to be. Because we've got to have an Azuria. It's like tradition that we have a super overpowered character called, called Azuria. Plenty of time.
Okay, so Crush says the the um, the gym is a grass type, so we should probably have at least one fire Pokemon. So we need to get um, Rainbow Naz leveled up until he gets some fire attacks, I think. Uh, Crush, any idea what level a Rainbow Naz is going to be when he learns his first fire attack? I'm assuming that Galar po Ponytars are still fire. I mean, maybe they maybe they're a different type now. Okay, so it's fairy type. So we could do with finding a decent fire type Pokemon. All the more reason to get that Vulpix, I guess. What? Oh boy. Sorry, Boris. I tried my best. You saw I used my super potion and you still died. God damn it. <laughs> Poor Boris. Uh, Wolfie, go get some revenge. Don't kill it, okay? Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Ooh, son of a gun. Okay, let's put it to sleep with Butterfree. Ah, okay. Is there any way of getting a Aloha version Vulpix um, in this one, guys? Does anybody know? There we go. We got him. It seems appropriate somehow that Azuria should be a nine-tailed fox. What are we going to call Stunky? Um... I'm not going to call it... No, I didn't. Uh, I don't keep up with the uh, the later generations either. I got gold and silver, and that was about as far as I got. Uh, what are we going to call this stinky old thing? Um, well, I've just finished watching Friends again, so let's call it Smelly Cat. Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat. Yeah, grass sucks, which is a shame because it's my favourite type. Okay, back to heal up Iris again. Remember to switch it to the back of the crew this time. And then we're going to go try and find that freaking Vulpix. Bam, bam, ba, ba, ba. You may be able to see a rare Pokemon at Wedgehurst Station now. Cool. Um, 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 um. I don't know where that station is, though. Oh, wrong one. I keep going into there instead of the map. Town map. 